I grew up learning the art of repetition. Memorized this, copy that, public school taught me well. Instead of painting my own portraits, I was taught to color within the lines. Instead of writing my own novels, I was taught to read and read books I tried to live up to instead of discovering my own philosophy. I sat in a church, looked up at Jesus on the cross, thought, God, this must be bronze or copper or something, and God, those wires look a little thin, but that at any moment, this ornate, intricate depiction is going to fall and crush all these people he has saved. And God, what a gruesome scene for such a beautiful church, and now there is blood on everyone's hands, like, like the moment I wrenched your heart right out of your chest, and I found it pulsing in my hand to its own peculiar rhythm. And I thought how strange it was that you were still beating, breathing, being, forgive me. I am not used to a world where my love is not destruction. Out, damn spot, out. We are all just trying to get the blood off our hands. Like like the moment, how I balance on a tightrope between the unknown and the too close to home. Like, like how I'm being swallowed whole by this world. But God, do I have to wait three days for it to spit me out? I grew up learning the art of repetition, but I could never really find my own beat, so I started to write poetry in the margins of notebook paper that was supposed to contain equations and formulas, tales of war, of triumph. But trust me, this is not simple procrastination. This is the girl who only knew how to see things from the outside in, trying to find mirrors that showed her more than her own disfigured limbs. She needed the words, but she needed them practiced, contrived, already with their own peculiar rhythm. But no matter how many clocks stopped ticking, no matter how metronomes stopped knowing she could not find them, I still can't. But I, I have found a world where there is someone who lets me be whoever I want to be. You, you let me be all my sharp corners and edges, all the parts of myself I shove back inside, swallow whole without pinching my nose or holding my breath. I let the ugliness singe back down my throat. I push myself away, I push myself back inside out. I am a master. I'm mixing the clean with the complicated, like, like gravel in a puddle, ice in the rain, boulders and fresh snow. But you, you let me be all my curves too, my soft, soft curves like bends in a river, like a body in a bathtub, like flower petals in a monsoon. But God, I should have known that water is the most powerful force on earth. But there is nothing to cure all the madness that echoes around inside my bones. Panic is defined as a sudden fixation of fear that overwhelms or overcomes an individual often coped with through repetitive motions and rhythmic movements. So is that like, like the tap tap tapping of the raven on my chamber door, like the gas gas gasping for breath in a high school bathroom, staring through a face I have perfectly mastered how to hate, quiver in her lips, tears in her eyes, press not smudge, press not so much, I reach out and try to touch, touch, touch the contorted mirror. But wait. This is my story. This is supposed to come later. I'm supposed to come after. Second guessing myself when I don't even have the time to. Talked, molded, boxed, boarded up. I used, I used to be a metaphor for success. But now I'm on the inside of the whale and God, I just don't feel like praying yet. I just, I just have to find the rhythm, decipher the formula, do it wrong over and over, do it right over and over, try again. I grew up learning the art of repetition. You have to understand, I do not know anything else. I find comfort not in a cross, not in a mirror or a metaphor, but in the rising of the sun. Somehow it is the exact same motion, but every day looks a little different. And as I reach the horizon, my day breaking on eye level, I teach myself the art of slowing down. Thank you.